hello everyone welcome back to your channel technical sahil in today's video we are going to see that how we can install wordpress on our shared hosting control panel without using softa close or any other script installer means we are gonna install wordpress on our hosting manually like from downloading the wordpress files to creating database by ourselves and connecting both these things to make it live although in 90 percent cases if we usually have cpanel then it also has softa close uh, pre-installed on it but sometimes uh, we got an error like this or such type of errors or sometimes we just want to manually set up everything because when we use any script installer it automatically creates our very important credentials like database credentials admin credentials it automatically generates uh, without our prompt and if in the future we need to debug something in our wordpress website then we first need to figure out the details which was created by a uh, script installer uh, at that time so in both the cases uh, manual installation can be helpful and you must know when you uh, need to do in such type of scenarios so what we need to do is simply first uh, we need to log into our cpanel which i already did and at here we need to first click this option uh, mysql databases And guys, if you want to know that how do we connect domain and hosting and installing a free SSL to that, please find the videos for both in the description of this video. And now we need to give our, our database name. This can't be changed uh, in case of shared hosting. So whatever uh, name we write here, we need to append this name with our specified name. So I am writing WP2 and click create database. now we need to save these things because we need it when uh, we were installing wordpress through the wizard uh, now we need to uh, define the user i am going with this password it has generated now also we need to save the password and click create user and now you need to make sure that the same user and same database here has been selected like wp2 wp2 that's why i have given the same name uh, so it won't create any confusion so wp2 wp2 and click add after that and click this all privileges and click make changes now you simply need to search uh, download wordpress on google or any search engine and click this link this first link now here whatever the latest version is available maybe if you are uh, watching this video later you will see a different version so whatever latest version is available just click download wordpress and the version now it has start downloading now we simply need to extract And we need to open the folder now we need to zip this folder and now we need to upload this zip file where we are looking to install the wordpress either it can be the main domain it can be the add-on domain it can be the subdomain it can be the directory inside the main domain whatever it is you need to upload this zip file to that uh, directory or folder or whatever you call it like in my case i am going to install 
uh, this WordPress on. Wait a minute. On this digital side directory, currently it's blank. So I am deleting this index.php. Now I am uploading this here. So it's an add on domain. So I want to install on this thing here WordPress. The file has been uploaded. Now we simply need to close and extract this file. Now first we can delete this. Now open the folder uh, WordPress and click select all from here and click move. Now we need to move it. Uh, before a directory like in the main directory digitalsile.com not in the wordpress so it has uh, moved now we can simply delete the empty directory also from here now the file has been uh, placed in the right place so we simply need to visit the url We first need to choose our language, uh, which is English United States. I am going with the default. Click Let's Go. Now we need to provide these uh, database credentials. Username. Password this one. Now don't change this uh, local host also uh, don't change this if you are not specially required your database prefix means this is the uh, database table prefix means your tables that on created on the database the same database starts with this after that it can be the your plugin name your table name whatever it is but it will append this uh, before your uh, table name actual table name so you can also write anything here before underscore or also you can remove the underscore so it's totally optional if you make it any change here it won't affect the website so now you need to click submit now click the run run the installation site title uh, i am giving the default title my blog username uh, I am giving admin and password it has automatically generated a strong password so I am just copying this password and email I am providing my own email and guys never ever check this option especially if you want your website to get ranked in the search engine and you must want that so don't uh, check this option uh, please it is important so don't ever uh, click on this option it will discourage the search engine to index your website so don't uh, check that it's important to know now click install wordpress it has been installed now if we log in same credentials admin and the password which we have created so click login so that's how we can install wordpress manually on our hosting control panel if we wish to see the website that's the website uh, default theme uh, my blog the site title which we have defined and that's the admin panel so that's how we can install WordPress on any shared hosting, any shared hosting, either it's a uh, control panel, a uh, C panel or Plesk or any other panel, it doesn't matter. So in this way, you can install WordPress uh, manually on any hosting. So that's all for this video. And thank you so much for watching.